it's a very curated experience in VR. So you need to start with something, a viewer in a comfortable place, and then take the viewer through an experience that won't make them uncomfortable in any way. So it's necessary to have people who are knowledgeable in what they're creating and why they're creating it and what the user will experience so that they can take people through that environment and keep them comfortable and keep it an enjoyable experience. It's a lot easier to take a, take a project to an owner and say, this is how your building will look, this is how your building will perform, and we give them something that looks like what it will look like in the real world so that they can walk around the building at human scale and see this is what it will look like, this is what my view will look like from this window, this is what it will look like on 6 p.m. on the sunniest day of the year and so they can see what the building looks like and also analyze how it performs, how much sunlight they're getting, what that's doing to the heating and cooling loads and hopefully get a really intuitive feel before the building is ever built of what it's going to be like when it really exists. The client response has been even better than I could have hoped which is really gratifying for me because I was one of the proponents of VR in our office. I'm a video gamer so it was kind of a natural fit for me to say yeah we should do that but for owners and clients to come in and people who have never played a video game to come in and put on the headset and say okay now I get it I understand you know what everyone was talking about and what all the buzzwords were about I'm walking around this building and we haven't even completed the design process that's pretty cool